Welcome to Duramax Generators. Today, we're going to show you in seven easy steps how to set up your generator so you can be up and running in no time. Step one, unpacking. Open up the box. Remove the generator from the box. It's recommended to have two people to complete this first step safely. Inspect all parts, read the material provided, and the owner's manual. Step two, removing the packing brace. This brace must be removed prior to running the generator. As an added convenience, a brace removal tool has been provided. Flip the generator over, remove the wooden block. Remove the bolts holding the brace to the frame. Remove the bolts holding the brace to the engine. Remove the brace. Step three, installing the wheel kit. The wheel and handle kit makes it a breeze moving your generator across any terrain. The no-flat semi-solid tires ride like air tires, but will last for years longer. Attach the axle to the frame. Attach the axle bracket to the frame. Slide the wheels onto the axle. Secure the wheels to the axle with the cotter pins. Attach the support legs to the frame. Attach the handles to the frame. Do not over tighten the handles. Flip the generator upright. Step four, hooking up the battery. When unboxing your generator, if it's an electric start model, either one or both of the 12 volt battery terminals will be disconnected. The negative battery cable is generally tucked up and back under the fuel tank. It's located opposite the recoil on the upper left bolt of the generator support. Attach the battery cables to the battery using the included nuts and bolts. Check any pre-connected cables for tightness. Step five, adding oil. We recommend 10W30 oil or better. The oil fill port is located on the engine block below the panel. Remove the oil cap. Assemble the oil funnel and insert it into the oil fill port. Slowly pour the oil into the funnel, stopping to check the level periodically. If you're using a one quart bottle, the generator will be full when there is 12 ounces remaining in the bottle. When the oil reservoir is full, you will be able to see the oil level at the top of the fill port. Replace the oil cap securely. The oil level should be checked before every use, and the oil should be changed every 20 running hours or once a year, whichever comes first. On-time oil changes are very important and will help ensure your generator remains reliable for years to come. Step 6. Adding Fuel 7 horsepower Duramax and Durastar generators have a 4-gallon gasoline fuel tank. Choose unleaded gasoline, 87 octane or higher, with 10% or less ethanol added. Ensure the fuel valve is in the off position. Remove the fuel cap. Fill the tank with one to three and a half gallons of gasoline. The fuel gauge will fill red as the tank fills. Replace the cap. 16 horsepower engines have an eight gallon fuel tank. It is very important not to overfill your fuel tank as this can clog the breather system. Excess pressure and fuel vapor flow through the breather and are recycled into the engine air supply to reduce pollutants. If you're operating a dual fuel generator, you can either run on gasoline or liquid propane. The propane hose and regulator are found just behind the air filter. Attach a standard five gallon, 20 pound propane tank to the threaded hose connection. Step seven, starting the generator. Startup instructions are slightly different for gasoline and propane. We will go over both. To start the unit on gasoline, turn off the main circuit breaker, turn on the gasoline fuel valve, Close the choke by sliding it to the left-hand side. Turn on the engine switch. Pull the recoil start firmly to start the generator. If your unit is equipped with electric start, simply turn the key to the start position and then release when the engine is started. Allow the unit to warm up for 30 seconds to a minute and then open the choke. Turn on the main circuit breaker and you're good to go. To start the unit on propane, turn off the main circuit breaker. Turn off the gasoline fuel valve. Leave the choke in the open position. Turn on the propane tank. Press the decompression button on the propane regulator for three to five seconds. Turn on the engine switch. Pull the recoil start firmly to start the generator. If your unit is equipped with electric start, simply turn the key to the start position and then release when the engine is started. Allow the unit to warm up for five to 10 minutes. Turn on the main circuit breaker and you're good to go. 
We hope this information has been helpful to get you started with your Duramax generator. For any additional questions, please contact our service department technicians for assistance. Rugged. Durable. Dependable. Power when you need it.